marketing and social media can be an extremely complex subject if you make it that way, but it's really quite simple. The steps are pretty easy. The first thing you do is locate the specific networks that you need to be involved in. And once you find those networks, then you start listening to the conversations and seeing what, what their needs are, what their questions are, and then all you have to do is and answer those questions by delivering content either that you create or that was created by somebody else. The act of doing this works to foster and build relationships within the community. It's a community building process. Now there'll be a certain percentage of people in your community that will be evangelists or evangelist relationships that will go out and shout about your content or the content that you shared and they will share it with their friends so that they can build the end process of that exponentially you can build a larger and larger network of people that listen to you and are excited to hear about your messages and that of course leads to success in social media now I'm going to explain the concept in a little more detail after you've discovered your communities and you really only need to be involved in one or two communities that contain the most activity from your target audience that you're trying to reach it makes no sense to go out and be involved in 10 20 or, or 30 I've seen some people even have a presence on a hundred different networks. There's just no way to manage this. It's impossible. And what they're doing is looking at it from the wrong angle. They've looked at examples and seen how some people are omnipresent. They seem to be everywhere at once, but what they don't realize is the true strategy behind being everywhere at once. Really, you only need to focus on a single community to begin with. So you just start with one community and you work to do your community building there and you do that by answering questions or becoming a part of the community and creating relationships in the process and as you do this you'll start to learn what the community needs and wants and you'll start to devise content strategies on how to deliver on their needs so that you can build even stronger relationships and bonds from that point forward so what you're doing here is you initially inject content into the, your community this is your community here and there will be a certain percentage of your community that are, are good friends so you're gonna foster relationships you have to do it and you want to specifically seek out people who are evangelists and on the inside we have a specific formula for locating these people and befriending them and networking with them because what these evangelists are gonna do is they're gonna find your content or the content that you share from other places to be very engaging and on time because of course you've taken the time to listen to your community you know what they want so these evangelists are going to shout your messages out to their communities and you can see the process just grows exponentially over time so this is a process of community building that doesn't stop but the return on investment in this is your relationships that you build because you're building a community of people that anytime you have a product or service that you're pushing or promoting or whatever you'll have a community set and this is your asset this is something that you can rest on so in this membership we're going to teach you how to build these communities how to foster these evangelist relationships and how to appeal to the community at large based on your target market need your return on investment comes in as people from your community start following you over to your central hub or your blog and it's from this blog that you will start entering people into your sales funnel so this is your sales funnel process here and people come into the sales funnel you're just dripping people down into your sales process here now your sales process down here in the funnel could be your product catalog a website it could be anything all the blog is or the central hub is the initial meeting point between your community and your sales process and your sales process could be anything it could be a, a catalog site or it could be a membership platform or whatever now there's some indirect benefits to community building this is what happens to new content when you inject it into your communities here's your content and then what happens is your content ends up getting distributed by your evangelist relationships or your communicators the people that are out there talking about what you're writing about or sharing what you're writing about they're they're bookmarking it they're sharing it they're they're digging it on dig they're they're mixing it they're spinning it on spin they're doing all manner of different things and this syndicates your content into areas that you're not directly involved in 
and it gives you a sense to other people that you are omnipresent. You're in multiple places at once, but what's really happening is your evangelist relationships are taking care of all this for you. Now, one of the indirect benefits of this happening is that as your content is shared, you're going to start getting multiple search engine listings under single keyword terms. You're going to own more than one spot in the search engines. And the more that other people are talking about and linking to your content, and it doesn't necessarily have to be just evangelist relationships, but it's just the, the inflow of traffic coming from social networks, the search engines are starting to pay more and more attention to this. This is a phenomenon known as SEO 2.0. And this is where your content begins to increase exponentially in visibility because of multiple search engine listings and also because of your rise in the search engine rankings because of the social activity surrounding your content. So in essence, each piece of new content that you put out increases your reach, increases your visibility, and gives your evangelist relationships another reason to syndicate your content across the social web. So how much time does all of this take? It really should only take as much time as you have to devote to it. If you're only involving yourself in a single network or a handful of networks, the time proposition isn't substantial. This should act as an enhancement to what you're already doing or act as a guide to help you locate and work a new business that you're exploring. The private membership is set up in a self-paced fashion. So take the lessons in the course as you have time to complete them. Never let them become a distraction to your current business. We look forward to serving you on the inside.